leading after the dressage phase the three star competition. Now, Tim rode GV Billy Elliot. Tim, how are you? Good, thanks, Georgie. Fantastic. Now, Billy Elliot, apparently that's a film name. So tell me, just to break the ice, favourite film? Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire. Mm, interesting, interesting. Now, that aside, let's talk while we're really here. Um, horses. You've obviously come out of the dressage phase today. You were actually the last horse to go and you've won, so that's fantastic. Give us a quick little overview of how the horse went, how you're feeling leading into tomorrow, and a few sort of hints and tips leading into cross country. Okay. I was, I was wrapped with the dressage test today. He's usually a very reliable, consistent horse on the flat, and he didn't disappoint. I think that today was certainly one of his best tests. And as far as tomorrow is concerned, I think it's a, it's a good challenge. There's a, a few of us really gunning for a spot for this London team, so it should be exciting to watch. I love it how you just drop, drop in oh, this London team. Like I'd be happy to go to London, let alone as an Olympian. Now, years ago, I used to have photos of Olympians on my wall, and these days I get to talk to them, so I'm very, very lucky. Now, with that in mind, breakfast for tomorrow and preparations for cross country, what are you eating for breakfast, and have you polished your wellies? <laughs> A breakfast, I'm a pretty boring guy. A breakfast is the same for me every day, wherever I am, it's two wheat picks and one banana. Is that all? Yeah. I actually think that GV Billy Elliot could almost eat the wheat picks because I know horses that like wheat picks. What does Billy Elliot eat? Well, Billy's a bit of a fussy eater, like it's a constant battle getting him to eat, actually. He's only a very small horse, so we're constantly changing his feet. Fantastic, good. Well, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for hanging out here up on the EQ Life Count. Um, go back to your ride briefing now and good luck for tomorrow. My pleasure. Thanks, Georgie. See you back here tomorrow night, hopefully. Thanks, team. And now we're at the other end of the competition. I guess we could say we're doing a bit of a bookend interview. I'm with the leader thus far of the Equitac XL CCI One Star Junior. Now, I've got Miss Naomi White up here from Wandon. Naomi, welcome. Hello. <laughs> Now, tell me, what's your horse's name, what's he look like, and how did you go today? Oh, yesterday, sorry, give me a full rundown. Oh, it actually was today that we did our dressage. And Mighty Tosca, although the name might give the impression that he's some big steed, he's actually only 15 three hands high, um, but he's a bay and he's like, got the power that he needs, so, <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Now, you've been out and walked the cross country course. Tell me, how are you looking with fences and things? What have you schemed out? And how is the Mighty Tosca going to take it all on? <laughs> Well, it's not a matter of taking it on really, like he enjoys it just as much as I do, so I'm really happy with how the course looks. I think I'm confident to go out there and ride well, just as long as we get a bit of sunshine, that would be nice for the course. Fantastic, wonderful. Now, Tim was just telling me he eats wheat bix I'd really like to hear that you've got much more elaborate plans. Maybe you're going into McDonald's drive-thru. What are you having for breakfast? And do you have any kind of quirky habits leading into competition? Um, well, I may have spoiled myself the last few days with a few too many McDonald's breakfasts. So this morning and tomorrow morning on competition days, I'm probably lucky to get down and up and go because my stomach does sit a little bit funny <laughs> when I'm a bit nervous. Um, and I really just get ready as everyone else does. I've got my sister as my groom here this weekend. So that makes it a lot easier getting ready. I can just chill out a little more. So it's, yeah, it's very helpful. Fantastic. Now, speaking of preparations, are you doing anything fun this evening? Maybe your sister and yourself are hitting the default? Oh, I didn't know there was a deep floor, but I'm sure I would. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, that sounds great. Well, good luck for tomorrow. Thanks thank so much you. for coming up here. No and I'll let you go and get those dancing shoes on. All right, thank you. Thank you.